What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? See, I, I didn't even know the lyrics there. That, that, that was beautiful. Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song. But I'll try not to sing out a key. Yeah, I, I boom, would. Boom, 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 boom. And, and I'm out. And, 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 and we're, we're in. Here at, uh, at Ibanez. <laughs> From uh, wait a second, let's first of all. That's the most Ibanez song ever, right? I yes, mean... it, and what an amazing <laughs> song! What an amazing song! Oh my God! Um, uh, let's let's introduce our sad, sad cameraman. Give me that. He looks hey. awfully cheery. <laughs> Dan, Dan, the man. It's the drugs. They're on, kicking on, on in. On the webcam, and we move around. Here we are. Mostly caffeine. We are the most special guests ever at Ibanez because we have. Nam day one. Wait, let's pat each other on the back on that one. <laughs> Nam day one, slot one, not slot one, slot one, at nine o'clock, uh, looking at new stuff. Yes, I'm looking at something new, new right look, now. Look, it's so fluff. <laughs> fluff is like, look at him, look no, at him. No, that's, the, no. that's the look of, yes. of uh, yes, fluff. disapproving. Yes. <laughs> yes, not no. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, fluff. You know all, what? All, all of Glenn is wrong shirts. I will make fluff is wrong fluff. shirts. Always, I with got... the, always with the judging. Yeah, yeah. Always with the judging. Sentimental <laughs> fuck Todd. Jesus. <laughs> okay, um, we're... But you know what? What? I love him. <laughs> yeah. He's very beardy. Yes. I, I feel un, unbearded. Well, I, you know, I it's no, part of his brand. I have no hair <laughs> anywhere. Okay, moving on. Yes. Um, so, new Ibanez stuff. This is easy, we know them. But this is, as they say in Hungary, le sexy. Uh, that is Hungarian, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, this is uh, flame maple. Wow. What Ibanez calls a thick top is about five millimeters, but we're going to not say that. But the That's about right for, but, a, for a decent but top. But the neck, come on. Because that's a dark roasted maple. It's like dark roast coffee, dark roast maple. So, look at Dan with the camera I skills. Like, I like that. That is a sexy guitar. That's very sexy. And I'm gonna assume it's gonna clock in at $24.99. No? No more? What? Why is that so much more expensive? That's exactly what, like the 2204 TAB. You know, you know those roasts Where's don't come cheap. Yeah, but, but. But my, 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 my TAB is the same thing. Now I'm confused. Leave it to Henning to underprice you by about a grand. <laughs> okay, explain to me how there's a difference between these two. Well, I, I, I'll point it out to you right now. Um, beautifully figured flame maple neck, regular neck. They're both maple. I mean, they're both roasted, but there is a difference in the, in the flambe, right? Definitely the, more in flame. In the flambe, I and like the more that. And the more in the flambe. Uh, it's again, more flamboyant. You've got, uh, they, they both have a nice top, right? They both have a nice top, though I think this one's a touch more figured, but that just could be individual wood at the time that particular model was built and not necessarily all the time. Um, I don't know. But these aren't that much different. That's 3333 well, yeah, and that's 37. But that's list and that's dollars. This street price Germany 2499. I'm going to assume that this is not that much more. But Yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah. If you work out the numbers, it's around the same. But we'll, we'll we'll see. So moving Aren't on. We're going to call it the same. <laughs> Uh, we know that, we know that. I have that, and it's awesome. Uh, that's Martin's very pretty blue one. This is the Mr. Henke version that, uh, <laughs> that Tom Quayle picked. The monkey wood. Yeah, he hates me when I call it Mr. Hanky. I mean, it's a little bit poopy, but it's 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 gorgeous. Tom, I love don't, it. Don't get, don't get your panties up on it. Tom, I got your back on this one. I'm gonna punch him in the head as soon as we go to off camera. <laughs> um, this is uh, Marcos Fugli's uh, guitar, which is um, it doesn't have the the, the 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 tap switch. It's got two Dimasios, I think. So. Uh, and, and it's uh, no blade the, switch. What, what it's a mean? toggle. Air Norton and Tone Zone. Say that again. Air Norton and Tone Zone pickups. Be 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 beautiful. Air Norton and Tone Zone pickups. For the bippity boppity boo sound. For the bippity bop. Well, I don't know what he's talking about. Um, so it's it's more of a traditional guitar, but based on the AZ in neck shape and all. No, wait. Same neck shape. Yeah, yeah, same neck shape. Okay, moving on. But I like the color. That's very cool. Um, this is. I don't know. I don't know who Eric. Eric. 
Who are you and who do you play for? Can, can I have this? He's silent. He just, he's a strong silent guy. Yeah. But not the guitar. When he's on the guitar, Eric Hansel. Do I have I to make a Gretel joke? I need, I need two. I, I need I, I one know. mic. You I'm, have two I'm mics. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was, I was confused. <laughs> okay, this is a... Oh, this is a satin finish in a green that is so green that in every camera it will look black. Not in this one, actually. Not in this one. Well, then I don't know things, apparently. It's a testament to the dynamic range of the Canon XV, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> <laughs> XF400. Ooh, look yeah. at you. See, I, I know it would start with an X. <laughs> um, <laughs> Walnut top on this one. Walnut, Walnut top. top. You can wow. also eat it if you want to. And offset dots. Look, look at Dan pushing all the in, uh, uh, offset lines. I actually lines. really like that. Um, it would have been nice if they actually had been between the strings, but they're sadly a little bit under the E string. Probably tough to do, but how cool would it have been if they had been a little bit lower? Here it's kind of getting there, but you know what I mean? If it actually had been between the strings. I'm just finding that Henning just has a goddamn complaint about everything, huh? Now he gets me! <laughs> Now we, uh, no, when I see oh something, uh, when I see something awesome, Eric, it's, 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 Eric, I got you back on this. As soon as the camera goes off, I'm gonna punch him right in the head. <laughs> there's a lot of punching me right in the head, kind of a theme. There's a theme here, okay? Um, gorgeous. Mar Mario, I got your back on this. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mario's got Mario's got one. No, actually, Mario. That's a satin finish. If it's not coming out on camera, it's satin, not gloss. And it's what is it? Is it purple? Is it lavender? I'm gonna. Well, it's it. It harkens back. It's not quite Heather Pearl, which was a late Lavender uh, 80s. metallic mat. Yeah. Love the matching headstock. I gotta say, sorry Mario, but the shark tooth don't go with the AZ shape, if you ask me. But that's what he wanted. He probably played Ibanez all his life and is just a shark tooth aficionado. I, for one, love the shark tooth, Mario. Got your back on this one. And okay. as soon as the camera's <laughs> over. I'm gonna smack him right over the head with this guitar. <laughs> I I get the theme. <laughs> um, this is also satin. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. And it's the most blood red thing I've ever seen. You say how much more blood red could you get? And the none. answer is none. None. None more blood none red. None more blood red. <laughs> now I'm not sure. I can I can go ahead with a with a brighter headstock. That matching, I don't know if that, I don't know. I'm a matching headstock kind of guy, but I, but I can't imagine it right now. So, I kind of like it the way it is. I mean, oh, that's, when that's you have that much really blood red ring. in one spot, you say to yourself, can the world handle a blood red matching headstock? Maybe, I don't know, scientists are baffled at this point. Maybe at some point we can do it, but I gotta say the back of that neck looks sublimely amazing. Yep, yep, it does. And, is that a, List 1999, but that's a prestige, right? Premium, 1500. Ah, that's that's dollars in its list, so it's a premium. So we're talking. They're still on MSRP and not like, MAP. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you you get it at Walmart for 29.95. Right. Right. It's a confusing system, but it's high, but then it's low. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to shake Daryl's hand. How you doing, man? Good to see you. How you doing, man? There's going to be a lot of handshaking here. Yes. Um, now, this is something that Dan, the man from Albanus, thinks is very cool because it's kind of a marriage between a Les Paul Custom and an AZ. And then I'm thinking, am I really so old-fashioned that, that I, I don't want those kind of marriages to happen? It's not a marriage. It's if a Les Paul Custom and an AZ make uh, they had crazy it. Now, yeah, now these crazy inlays love. remind me of classic Ibanez inlays, a combination of abalone and mother of pearl. That must have been a good night. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm generally not the gold hardware kind of guy. Same but with, here, with, but that really works. Yeah. I'm not completely against it. It's just, if I'm going to go for an AZ, it would be. But I mean, the thing is. Those, Tim, th th those guys. Where, Tim, I got your back on this one, okay? <laughs> well, Tim, let me tell you. Tim, let me tell you something. I don't care what your guitar looks like. You are insane when you play it. I listen to like that album that you, like one of those albums, from beginning to end, and it's information overkill for me. I'm old, okay? 
but oh my fucking lord, can you play? And also, when you listen to Polyphia, I think Polyphia is the band that defines what the AZ sounds like. Because when you know the AZ and you hear that album, you know that it can't be a Strat, it can't be a Tally. They have to play an AZ because their music uses exactly that tonal, the tonal capabilities of that guitar to perfection. Well done, Tim. Wouldn't have gone for the colors, but whatever. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. <laughs> Um, where do we go? There's... Well, these are new. Wait, 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 I like to go to, he, to, go to the he, new he stuff. He says we go this way. Okay. Okay, wait a second. Let's talk about J.B. Brubaker. I, I, I just don't want to see the ones that say new next to it. Let's see all the new stuff. Yeah, wait a second. I want to talk about J.B. Because his music's very loud and there's a lot of... So, can't stand it. But Sounds like oh my, my stomach last night. Oh my I have eaten in hours. It, it, <laughs> is that tasteful or not? I like it. This I is, love it. It's a mono with the monochromatic like that. It's like a it's like a bichromatic, you know. So, JB, really, really well done. Just had to fix the truss rod thing that you can fold out. He's adjusting the truss rod on site, you know. Illustrating that this is either a premium or an iron label because the prestigious don't have that. That's very nice. Kiko, something mega did mega. I don't know what that is. Um, maybe some jazz thing that I don't know. It looks, I gotta say, it reminds me the color, not the shape obviously, but the color, a little bit of the Jiva. Right? See, because you also think that the Jiva is green, right? And the Jiva is not green. Need I got on my case about that. Really? It's not green? No, it's natural. It's black to natural. But it's green if you ask me. Yeah, it kind of looks green. Yeah, we can look at it in screen. Yeah, yeah. Um, I made fun of this two years ago. I don't have to do it again. Um, <laughs> um, Martin, then, I got your back. Uh, <laughs> you have, okay, you have Martin's back. Eight string, one pickup, eight grand. You, you lost me, buddy. See? Sorry. He doesn't have he's your back, making, Martin. He does a, not have your back. He's making a point. He's making a point. I don't know. He looks like he's having a good time. See, Jake now, <laughs> tasty as fuck. Yeah, All nice. white, natural binding. I really like that. Gold, like uh, satin, not flashy gold with the black pole pieces. Uh, uh, Gibraltar 7597 bridge. That's Gibraltar. Come on, Gibraltar. That's how we say that. It's not J. It is. You, you don't... It is in not Germany. Uh, you live in Germany? Are you living in Germany now? <laughs> don't make me, I'm pretty sure don't make me come I'm, over I'm there. I'm pretty sure in Gibraltar, <laughs> they're going to say Gibraltar and not Gibraltar. You see, it's always been Gibraltar in America. What? But Gibraltar isn't in America. It's in Gibraltar. We might take it. <laughs> Cultural numbnuts. Wait a second, I'm not uh, stuck with Jake. I kind of like this well, one. I want to get Jake. to it. Jake just needs to slow down a bit and play about half the notes on this, and then hell yeah, okay? Jake, don't listen to him. You play the perfect amount of notes all the time. I got your back on this one, bro. And you're gonna hit me later with the guitar, I get it. <laughs> now, now, Luke, I don't know who Luke is, but Luke has taste. I like this one. I mean, come on. He's I'll, got a three-piece neck, and he didn't... what appears to be an alder body? Uh, you know what the body is? That looks mahogany-esque. Yeah, yeah, it could be mahogany. Could be Nayeto, who knows. Um, um, it's got the the offside, the offside style, right? So it comes down one side, then goes over and goes to the other. They look like brass, but might be, no, no, but they, they're, they're plasticky, but they look like brass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here, I'm not a gold guy at all, but Locking this is awesome. Tunis. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, my, arm, my arm's and, getting tired. And, and, and the green, yeah, ask <laughs> Um No, this is nice. Yeah. Nice. And it's got the Fishman's, no. which is always a a nice touch. Interestingly, it's the ceramic in the, the ceramic in the bridge and the El Nico in the neck. Huh? So it's not the same metalish sound, so a little bit uh, warmer sound. Right, right, right. It's a neck picker. It's a very versatile thing. So let's look at the Jiva. Let's look at Nida too, because we'll be waste not to. 
Hey, Nita. I like freaked out because I thought it was three hundred and thirty-three dollars. I was like, no way, but it's not. <laughs> so I was like, what? <laughs> I always see this as green. You always also see it as a light green. I right? kind of see it as a light green, yeah. And apparently, this is natural. This is black, and we are fooled. Because I told her I really like the green on the guitar, and she's like, what green? Wow. Love the I, I know what I, I, I see what she's saying right now, but it only took you saying that for me to notice it because yep. before that my eye right in this area here in this area here Fluff, we have a question it's coming feeling in. green mr. Fluff oh my god it's the I've been uh, dude they haven't made these they only made these on Wednesdays originally in 1991 is this green <laughs> no oh. oh okay okay because we see it as green well okay to find green though it's a shade of green certainly but you see, it's not. It's natural and black, and f with the burst, it appears some kind of green. Nita said it's not green. She got all uppity on me. Look, well, my guitar's not green. <laughs> well, in all the pictures, it looks gray. But that, in person, looks, looks a little green. It looks a little green. So, Nita, see? Three guys say green. Three YouTubers can't be wrong, right? So, what would you know about your own signature model? <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> so, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and now, just go away. <laughs> this is a cheap Paul Stanley. This is a also more expensive Paul Stanley. But no, yeah, but well, yeah, but not much more expensive. Why does this one look bigger than? Oh, this? you know what? I I think I was jumping to this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is bigger than this, right? Mike, no, it is. Mike, short scale. Ah, short scale for the kids. Yeah, yeah. It's for, for the all the little. It's all for all the little Paul Stanleys of the world that go. I want to know. How many of you people are gonna make me a PB and J? <laughs> I have no idea about kid. I don't. I have no idea what he's referencing, but apparently it's funny. Oh, I'm cracking up inside. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, uh, a little uh, bit, a little bit bigger, obviously, full yeah. size, but and a little bit more money, but still a relatively inexpensive guitar. If it's listed I mean, three ninety nine, this is gonna be nineteen ninety five at Target. I'm, what I'm saying is the price per sparkle is really low. <laughs> yes. Now the price. <laughs> For a broken piece of thing here is very high. You know, I, I for that kind of money, I expect it not to be broken. I'm, I'm always, when I see these, I'm always afraid that would you not cut yourself? No, I think they make it. Oh no, you kind of can feel it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is I a hazard. I think these are put in like a mosaic, so they're probably um, beveled on the edge of hair. You know what I'm saying? No, right. But the only thing that right now I'm imagining is a bunny named Edge, an Edge of hair. Oh, so a here's hair, a, here's, a, here's a question uh -huh. Dan might ask. Dan might be able to answer. Is the brake pattern the same on every single guitar, or does it vary completely by guitar guitar, and it's essentially random? It has to be random. Which does is it, what? or do you just make up all these pieces and you come up with a set and you put it together? No. No, it's got to be random. No, they 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 break a mirror. They some, break. And, 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 which is why the price is justified because this is done by hand by someone with a lot of patience. Right, a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. Need a little patience from that band with the man with the hair. That was after my time. <laughs> I stopped. I stopped listening to music around 1987. When did they? <laughs> when did they come out? I I I, I don't know. 1987. <laughs> uh, this is only six six six. Six six, six six five. five. What the? So close. Please, Dan. Please. See, we, so, my why? OCD. My OCD is freaking out right no, now. No, someone's fucking with us. All right. Ibanez. Someone go get a marker and change that to a six. Okay. It's only a pen. It's only a penny. Okay. <laughs> and when and the, the, the symmetry is just smashed at the yeah, end of that. <laughs> but it's, it's three, because three, you three, realize three, it would have been six 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 six. But look at here. Three thirty three thirty two. Oh my God! It's like they're messing with our heads. Yeah, but this is three ninety nine ninety nine. Well, because this one is the exact price of what it costs to make. <laughs> <laughs> Where this one was just rectally derived by some marketing genius. <laughs> Someone in Ibanez is having fun with us. Uh, uh, this, by the way, is Chrome Boy a, back. A, I mean, a dream. The Chrome Boy. I just played uh, at uh, Ostosh. Video is on my channel. Uh, guitars, aluminum guitars. So this in actual aluminum. Right, but this is wood coated in metal, yes, right? Yes. Right, yeah. 
This is more shiny than the aluminum. The aluminum is cool because it's got kind of a little bit, you see the buffing, you see some scrapes. Right. Uh, but also in a similar price range. Right. Um, this is red. Why this is white, no one knows. Because I, I'm this surprised is you're leaving the whammy bars out here. You know, that's a $130 whammy bar. What? Just that bar is 130 bucks. I, I tell you why, because you can't get them out. <laughs> Get out of there, you. <laughs> um, 130 bucks? Yeah, yeah. The, my, my dinner is these, these are like 15 or $20. And the, the, these here with the carbon fiber? I always wanted one of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, I still want to play these. The really, 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 Again, really cheap Again, 66665, 66665. I mean, so close. I have this. It's a nice guitar. I'll. What, this, this is premium? Premium, I don't have this. I have the, the big one. Love, do you have these in Germany, Dan? Well then, Two. One, can we do a shootout? Because mine is like from, I don't know, 18 years ago? Let's do a shootout, premium versus non-premium. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you serious? Are they ball ending those frets? Are those sphere ends there? On a premium? Look at that. They're well, rounded they off that frets. On a premium? Since, since when is that being done? On, well, it's it's a it's a very high end premium. I mean, premium at, at that price. But that is. Who's doing that? Because usually that's only a Fujigan thing in like J Custom. See, almost as if I know things about Ibanez. Okay, moving on, what else do we show? If you take a hard left. Dan wants to, Dan, Dan, Dan's oh, the man Dan with the money. Oh. We, see, we don't get paid if we don't go where, where Oh, we're getting is. paid? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. NAM, this, we're doing this for free, <laughs> sadly. Um, uh, you know what I really like? I really like the set neck um, fireman. It's such a great, you know, and because it's a premium, Instead of a prestige, you know, it's, it's actually a, a fairly competitive price. That premium? He doesn't know. <laughs> Dan, you're letting us down. No, 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 it's China. So it's not even premium. It's regular. I tell you, it's nice. It's got a nice feel to it. Let me put the, uh, it feels let me premium. Put the trem arm back in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paul, Paul, what's what's up? Why, why, do, why don't Paul, Mr. Gilbert, you always did woo! And, and now there's no Wii U on this. No, no. You know what? I think he stopped all that right at the end of the 80s. He had a big change of heart. And if you talk to him, he'll say that Mr. Big purposely sort of went more towards pop because they wanted to get away from the whole Shred thing because they thought at the time Mr. Big was out, Shred was sort of dead. And he was right. But people still identified him with that. So it was a weird thing where he was sort of identified as Shred but trying to move away from it. But... As far as I'm concerned, Paul Gerber is one of the greatest guitar ambassadors out there. I mean, pretty much the guy who... And he can't do wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, Whether he goes pop or shred, even the shred is poppy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now this... Whoa! That's a micro. Wait, is it like... Ah, what the... What the... Huh? Which? What? That's, a, that's, that's for... Like a kid's, it, that's a... That's, that's a... That's a, a kid's, kid's yeah, it's like a three-quarter, yeah. But it's not a Geo, it's not that super cheap micro series because on those really cheap ones for the kids, the, the tuners are absolutely horrible. These look better. This is, I mean, the, on the other hand, what kid knows who Paul Gibbard is? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know I if the you, marketing works. He, the thing about Paul Gilbert, though, is that a lot of people know him now, again, as just an ambassador of the instrument. He has the school. He's into teaching. He's like, look, let's just, you know, let's just remember guitar for what it should be. And that's all about rock and, like, just feel and stuff like that. He, I'd say he's one of the best ambassadors out there for guitars, just in general. Forget about this Ibanez. This is just nice. Paul, so. And I'm Isn't loving the gold. This is nice. 30th anniversary. 30. Can you say that? You can have a list. 30th anniversary. Uh, but it's heavy. 
That's not too bad. I felt worse. I mean, that's not crazy bad. I, it, it does have a little bit of weight, though. No, I agree. Is that an ebony fingerboard or rosewood? Hot shell, hot shell case. <laughs> I don't know. Nice. No, the, that looks like ebony. The stats that they give on pattern. these little signs are very limited. Oh, it comes with 30th anniversary picks. I mean, that totally, you know, justifies the pricing. And there's a lot more to show, so let's move on. I want to show these very inexpensive uh, hollow bodies. Because the pricing on these is pretty amazing. And Ibanez went all out with, let's do pastel colors, which this is daring, but I'm pretty sure it's going to find a lot of fans. You know what? I kind of like them. I think it really works with the style of guitar. And it's interesting that the lower horn seems higher than the upper horn, but that might be a visual illusion, optical illusion. No, I think you're right, but it's not by much. I really, uh, Mr. Dan Man, I really want to review these because I think for the viewers it's going to be very interesting. There's a volute, which is great because headstock breakage is real with these headstocks. Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, pickguards on these guitars. I immediately take them off. This is neat though. I would still probably take it off because I want to see the whole thing. It's because, especially it's because it's blocking this. Plus, but, I'm not a fan of pearl, just in general. I would I, I, probably I, I, go with either black or just take it off. No, I like the pearl. You like the pearl? Yeah, yeah. I've never been a big pearl guy. But I'm um, not sure about these knobs. They have them on the AZs. But look at the F-hole. It's beautifully done. Nice F-hole. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs> well, um, yeah, the pricing on these is ridiculous. They are, the street is going to be under 400 bucks. 350? Wow. With a real platinum case included. Okay? Comes with hard shell case and 30th anniversary picks. Wait, no, that was the other one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we're not going to look at bases. You I know, there was I some new would um, like to, but R we don't have the time. RGs down here, RZs. Well, we're going to have to look at Andy. Oh, yeah, this is new. Andy knows how to play a bit. He's good. So that's the traditional Andy. And this is the new one, the AZ version. I don't quite get the pickups. Apparently they're single coily, but they're blady. Cruisers. Cruisers. That doesn't tell me anything about how they work. Um, now, gorgeous neck. Obviously, this is a variation of the AZ. Um, oh, many, many springs. Big ass tram block. Very black in the back. Why they then went with a white uh, cover there, don't know. <laughs> now, I have to say, every time I saw him play this, the two-tone burst for me doesn't work. Oh, well, I like the two-tone burst because that's a 54 Strat. I don't know those things. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So but, the early strats were just two-tone, brown on black, and then eventually they added a red. But this is like the original, like old 50s style strat would be a two-tone. But in the, in the satin, to me, it cheapens it. And, on, in the oh, high glass, I, yeah. I, I, I see what you're saying. The, I understand what you're saying. It feels, I know it's not, but it feels... I've been like one of those old 60s guitars that... I, I know what you're saying. It feels a little bit plasticky. It, it's not, and Albanese does a phenomenal job. It, it feels really, really good, but visually, it feels a little Andy, bit fake. Andy, I got your back on this one, bro. Second the scammer goes off, and I'll punch him right in the head. Andy, you're brilliant, <laughs> and it's an amazing guitar, but every time I see it, it feels a little bit plasticky. Uh, interesting bridge. It's yeah, I was going to say, those saddles are really interesting. Trevor Wilkinson stopped me yesterday and said he really likes my videos and he wants to do something. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, so that's a Wilkinson that? trend. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah. This was related. I, wasn't I just, thought it was a little random. I, was, I wasn't just showing off, you know, yeah. and this is... Yeah. Well, let me tell you. Yeah, you know, you. I stopped at Wahlburger yesterday and got a burger. That's it. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing else. Umbrella. <laughs> okay, uh, what um, else? New, um, don't we have some RGAs? Yeah, 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 yeah. RGAs? And the AL, uh, uh, AS, AL? 
uh, eight L's somewhere. That's a uh, Sabres. Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa. Inexpen this is this is one for the inexpensive guitar series. Oh yeah, but look at that, it's like a tricolor fade almost. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm doing a series on guitars that people can actually buy, and they actually really like it. I'm, I did four sectors, and uh, we, we, want, we, want to do, we, we want to do Ibanez. Uh, we were doing this one because this is everything I'm looking for in an inexpensive guitar. No trim, five position switch, amazing color. It's got five, so you have, have the Yeah, yeah, right. Um, what's that? Limb to word, wood? It almost looks like, like, um, what do they call that? Um, uh, is it walnut? Is it mahogany? I mean, it, it's no, no, no. That, that's with that grain like that. It feels like Luan or something, right? L U A N. Roxanne. It's, a, it's, Roxanne? A, it's, a, it's, a, it's out of the mahogany family. Marianne? But it's not straight up mahogany. They call it like Asian mahogany. But it is, it's very similar. But we don't know exactly what it is. Unlike that, which looks more like straight up rosewood. Also very sexy. Although, she looks kind of similar. No, here we have arrived at the RGA series. Mm. Uh, the, uh, and those are Axion labels, right? No? What? What? Why is it? Ah, oh, they are. Uh, okay, so there's RGA and then there's the then the Axion, which pretty much look the same, but they're better. And we're gonna find them somewhere. Um, but the colors are. Oh, this is light. Wow. Wow, that's really light. And it's gonna be like under 500. Wow. You could, you, that's, could, you could chuck that as a spear if you had to, it's so light. <laughs> that's also something for the inexpensive guitar series. You get stranded on Are an you riding this down, Dan? Careful, careful. Um, more iron label, more iron label. Here's your I RGAs. Have that one. Here's your grandma's kitchen table. Uh, ah, those are the XLs. Yep. Um, I played that one, didn't I? See, I remember stuff. This is the nine string, and as Colin Scott puts it, completely, utterly useless, and nobody needs that. <laughs> I like his posts were great, but of course, unless you, you know, if you want a nine string, then you need that. Um, these XLs, Steve, are the most massive sounding instruments you've ever heard in your life. They're tuned you like don't know what instruments I've heard. <laughs> let, let, let me tell How you about. Dare you, sir. Let me tell you about a. How dare you? Let me tell you about a massive instrument. That actually looks pretty good. Looks a little like. Um, your grandma's kitchen table. Yeah. Well, you're old. Yeah, your yeah. grandma's dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they are. <laughs> Mine too. I'm old as well. Um, but well, my, my parents are still kicking though. They're still um, around. With the let me pitch this, with the 27-inch scale. Uh, and a normal EP e tuning, it responds so massively. However, when Wait, you, one more time. Got it. But when you want to play like fiddly stuff, Wait, what was that? Gotcha. Um, bends are a little bit harder because, of course, the string tension is higher. But as a rhythm instrument, I've never heard anything that massive. Um, ah, here we have the Axion label. The funny thing is, is that's probably how Nita's guitar is sprayed, and it's probably also not has any green in it at all. But we're just, and it does look a touch green to me, even though it's really not. Doesn't it remind you of Nita's guitar just a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'll play this. Um, it's the Wait S61AL. Awesome. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's. Not that long as, uh, you know, it's not that long in general. Um, Fishman's Gibraltar Bridge. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't get this knob. I don't know. It, it, it should be a dome head. I don't like the placement of the pickup switch, but here you have a single coil humbucker. And here you have voicing. You have a lot of tonal options on this. Whoa. It features a Nayato body and a panga panga I like missionary and panga panga um, neck locking tuners is that a wedgie is that a wedgie neck no no panga panga oh 
I wasn't coming on to you. That's actually Panga Panga. Wow. Uh, it's a I really... Thought you were, I thought you were suggesting lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a phenomenal instrument, really. And uh, it, it's going to retail at, I think, twelve ninety nine. So it, it, I think cheaper. eleven ninety nine, something like this. Um, probably avoid Axion label. No gig bag, no case, right? <gasps> but amazing guitar. Ooh, this is also actually on label. I haven't played this, but oh my God, this is, whoa. This is, this is giving me a guitar boner right there with a little bit of blue. That's a goner. A goner. Oh, nice. To go um, with your gonads. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, we have three sounds and that's it. A Gibraltar bridge. Um, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> we have some, uh, uh, something with the dots. Bird's eye maple. That one, thank you. How many birds had a die to make that maple neck? We'll never know. <laughs> a lot of eyes in there. <laughs> um, this is stunning. Comes with these uh, brand new non-squeak shutter yeah. things. You know, shutters always squeak when they turn. Apparently, according to Dan, these don't. What's the... Uh, why is the wall? I know, I was a little moving. worried about that. Don't forget to return your $140 whammy bar. Psst! <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> um, this is probably also Panga Panga. And this is Ash. Two piece body. Well done, Ibanez. This has a rustic feel. The whole thing is like cabin in the cabin Oh, no, no, it's very woods. rustic. Ma like yeah, yeah. serial killer feel. Yeah, yeah. You would pay extra to have the your furniture worked up like this at the local furniture store to make it look a little rustic and worn in, you know? Well done, Ibanez. And then to go with the bright fret fretboard. I like it. Um, I just suggested to Grover Jackson to do a dark neck with a maple fretboard because no one's done it before. We were at Grover's shop. We had plans to build that guitar, well, with a rosewood neck, but I said no one's done a dark neck with a maple fretboard. No one. Screw you, Ibanez people. Well... That was my idea. I mean, I don't want to... Should I Should I tell them about the 2014 Select Strat that was out that had a solid rosewood neck and a inlaid bird's eye maple fingerboard? <laughs> That, that was mine. five, literally five years ago. Video on my channel <laughs> coming soon. Great guitar. Oh my God, what are they doing? Ah. I'm, I'm holding on to this till they're done whatever they're doing. I think they're worried about this. Um, so we played this video coming soon. We have a video for this, also the Axion label, with a Nayito? And Panga Panga, locking tuners, and very stunning, these bare knuckles, which look like they have diesel on them. This beautiful Gibraltar, damn it, I said it wrong, Gibraltar, <laughs> damn it! Um, single you will be mine by the end of this. <laughs> single call humbucker. It is Gibraltar. <laughs> um, no, that, that's the voicing switch. Oh, um, is that the Gibraltar switch? Is that the Gibraltar switch? Is that the Gibraltar knob? Is that a Gibraltar pickup? Is that a Gibraltar body? It's Nayato. <laughs> Gibraltar? I didn't even touch her. <laughs> <laughs> um, stunning guitar and really fun to play. Watch that finish. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. So, there are more guitars here, but yeah, I mean... I yeah, mean, but I want, to, I want to cover one more before we go. Oh, wow. This, this video is already... Just, just one long, more thing. Long. And that's these. These oh, are new. Dude, been, no, been there, done that, played them video online. Old news, dude. Wait, wait, do you have a video online for these guitars? What would you do? If I pointed out a guitar that you had already done a video on. Um, oh, yes. you're killing me. Wait, hold on. Oh, you'll be needing that back. <laughs> so I made a video about these. Uh, came out yesterday already. Oh, well, it's recent. It, uh, tell me it wasn't Nam 18, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it came out yesterday. Okay. This is hitting uh, next Tuesday. Okay. 
But these are recent releases. These are brand new. Okay, they all are, right. They're kind of the, the... For a second there, I thought I was pointing that to a guitar that came out last year. No, 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 no. And you're like, no, dude. They're no. kind of like uh, the metal <laughs> versions of the premiums. It's, right. it, 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 people said, dude, it's an RG, what's new about it? Well, the pickups, because these well, the are... the binding, binding on the neck. You know, I mean, the binding is really generally been reserved for the 700 series. Just going back to the old school, you had your 500 series without it, 700 series with it. So the 700 series is always considered a little bit nicer. And this reminds me more of like the 700 series. A little bit nicer than the straight up RG. I have no idea what he's talking about. Talking about the real Ibanez, the Ibanez RG 550, 560, 570, 750, 760, 770. The 540R, the 540S, the 540P. <laughs> so you, you like you like Ibanez or something? I'm just saying. But those are old. Uh, people who are listening to no numbers going, dude, that's like 1988, literally like 30 years ago. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. These are stunning. This is the XL, but the Prestige version. Oh, yeah. No, it's the H string. Then where's the XL Prestige, the blue thing? And lefties, my lefty friends, they got some lefties. It's always a bone of contention. And these are what? These new RG 550DXs. Those are nice. I love the 550 with the pick guard, double single double. I had one just like this in 1988 or 1888. I think I got one just like that. White, maple, everything, RG 550. Buddy of mine still has it. He might come over this year. He's uh, He's been in the Army. He's finally out of the Army. And uh, he might bring it over and we're going to check it out. Like literally. Like the old Like one. literally my guitar from 88. He still has it. Nice. So, so uh, what else do we have? Oh, there's a really nice uh, SS. Well, there's the 1070 PBZ, which I have. No, the, yeah, that's the 1070 PBZ, which they're still making. Yeah, make, those are real great. nice. Yeah, that's a sweet guitar uh, with a uh, Wenge. Wenge. And uh, mother of, and, and uh, uh, no, uh, not mother of. Why can't I ever think of that? Purple Heart. Why can't I? Every time I see this, I have to think about it. But I love the S version of this. Come on. That's gorgeous. Purple Heart. Well, the point is, Ibanez has many, many guitars. Almost, I'm gonna say almost, something for everybody. Unless you, if you don't like Ibanez, then it's not something for you here. But for most people- Why would you like Ibanez? Well, because you-, you what's, your, what's your problem, dude? You, you, you might not like it because you're <laughs> Agufish. Oh, he and doesn't then, like him? He doesn't like Ibanez. You know what? I got your back, Ibanez. Yeah. Second I see Agufish, they're exactly. gonna punch him right in the head. Yeah, screw you, Hunter. <laughs> I love Hunter. We, 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 we're we're going to get a couple of beers in an onion ring tower later. We're going to we're going we're going to get him on Team Ibanez. Yeah, we're we going to get you and your we little will love Ibanez. and your little dog too. <laughs> oh, here's the XL. This is the too many strings for me. No, no, this is the guitar. When you want to just one less string. When you want to riff hard, this is. The monster. No yeah. other guitar has ever sounded this massive. You got a six string version? <laughs> no, it's XL. Video coming out on my channel soon. No. Hard pass. 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 No. <laughs> if you go dong 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 on the low B on this, you're gonna freaking shit your bridges. I don't want that, that doesn't sound pleasant, okay? <laughs> Saying it hits the brown note. <laughs> oh, it does. No, it hits the brown note. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go now. We, 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 I think we're very much <laughs> done it. There's expensive guitar. There you go. Um, well, Henning, this has been the worst morning of my life, <laughs> and I just want to say thank you for wasting an hour. I will never get back. And uh, I think this was as a I lot get closer more... to death, every moment counts. <laughs> and boy, boy, I'm, the regret I am filled with this morning. Could, could fill this hall. <laughs> but you know what? It's because, what would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? He would. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. It was a better video because of you having been in it. Oh, I agree. And I will be expecting money. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. When the camera goes off and I'm done punching you in the head, you can pay me. <laughs> Do you take credit cards? No. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, wait, yeah, wait. wait. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I fooled you it was a debit card. Uh, uh, um, it was in another place. So, um, I don't know. Uh, thanks, what's your PIN number? Uh, th thanks to <laughs> Ibanez uh, for uh, indulging us. And giving us the first slot of the day. Been an Ibanez user since 1980. Uh, 1990. Okay. Because I'm so much younger. Yes. <laughs> uh, thanks, Dan. Your arm must be killing you. And uh, Ibanez, Nam, 19. Uh, several of these on my channel in the weeks to come. And be sure to check out the amazing Steve from Boston. Link in the description. What, you're going to put a link in the description? No, you are. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm actually going to put a link in the end card. Oh. The little thing. Oh! And uh, after um, Les Animaux à la fin. I don't know what that means. Animals at the end. Ah. In French. Wow.